Hi guys, I'm Silver and welcome back to What Remains of Edith Finch. So when we left off, we had a very, very weird experience as a little girl that changed into a bunch of different animals and ate like everything in the universe. Apparently this is the way I'm supposed to go. I wasn't really done exploring in there, but fine. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Hmm. Huh. So, if, if that story was real and this game just has like this really weird element of supernatural, uh, that's actually quite sad, because the little girl got eaten by a monster that she was, and then she, that she became the monster, and I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Okay, so this is the infamous, infamous Great Grandma Edie's room. Louis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Hmm. Weird, I cannot get this game figured out at all. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, <laughs> but she didn't. That's amazing. <laughs> if, if anybody I care about ever dies uh, by building a dragon-shaped slide that falls on them, I'm going to tell them a dragon killed them, too. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Hmm. So I'm guessing that's her mother and Edie. Whoa! Fuzzy pink everywhere. I want to make sure I see everything, so... Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Whoa, creepy. <laughs> I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. <laughs> One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. <laughs> a little forest fire. <laughs> 72-year-old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. That's so funny. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Oh, is that the ones that she's wearing now? Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Hmm. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. The family curse, okay. Ugh. Ugh. Why don't it, why won't it go? On January 7th, there. 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Hmm. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Oops. Okay, how do I back out? Like that, apparently. Okay. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Oh, cool. Okay, so as we, uh... Uncover the stories of each of these family members, she draws in a little portrait of them. Really interesting. So there's one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten left. Huh. 
Uh, all right, let's see. The pink bathroom. Uh, I've never seen a rug quite this shaggy before. Or this pink, for that matter. <laughs> Interesting. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. <laughs> it was hmm. a pretty big trace. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh... Can I go this way? Apparently not. Oh, does the key work on multiple things? Interesting. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. Hmm. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Whoa! That is so cool. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Wow. Interesting. A secret dark room and a little nook in the bathroom. Or, it's kind of in the wall, actually. <sighs> this is so weird. I can't crouch there. It happens automatically, I guess. Good to know. Milton. Hmm. So these are all the rooms we peeked in and saw from the outside, I think. Can I look out? Nope. Okay, so this is, uh... <laughs> there's... I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. I love how there's a rope and splitting. And he never two. talked about him. Hmm. This is honestly really cool. How they split the room. Blue and red. Okay, so Fort Sam and Fort Calvin. Whoa. I don't know if I was supposed to find this yet. What? No, 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 I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not done. I didn't even explore this room yet. <laughs> uh. Okay, so I can go up here. Interesting. But there's nothing like even up there. I guess my grandpa Command didn't like Sunday. history any more than my mom did. This is so cute and sad. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Wow. I can swing. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Calvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. 
maybe if the wind hadn't picked up, then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Wow. Wow. That, um, that brought, brought back a lot of memories as a kid, like, on the playground, and, you know, it was always this, like, thing kids would talk about, about, like, going all the way around. But, uh, nobody ever did. Probably because it was dangerous, like that. Anyway, guys, I'm out of time for now. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>